The Scaled Composites Model 339 Spaceship 2 SS2 is an air-launched suborbital spaceplane type designed for space tourism. It is manufactured by the Spaceship Company, a California-based company owned by Virgin Galactic. Spaceship 2 is carried to its launch altitude by a Scaled Composites White Knight 2, before being released to fly on into the upper atmosphere powered by its rocket engine. It then glides back to Earth and performs a conventional runway landing. The spaceship was officially unveiled to the public on 7 December 2009 at the Mojave Air and Space Port in California. On 29 April 2013, after nearly three years of unpowered testing, the first one constructed successfully performed its first powered test flight. Virgin Galactic plans to operate a fleet of five spaceship to spaceplanes in a private passenger carrying service and has been taking bookings for some time, with a suborbital flight carrying an updated ticket price of $250,000. The spaceplane could also be used to carry scientific payloads for NASA and other organizations. On the 31st of October 2014, during a test flight, VSS Enterprise, the first spaceship to craft, broke up in flight and crashed in the Mojave Desert. A preliminary investigation suggested the feathering system, the craft's descent device, deployed too early. One pilot was killed, the other was treated for a serious shoulder injury after parachuting from the stricken spacecraft. The second spaceship to spacecraft, VSS Unity, was unveiled on 19 February 2016. The vehicle is undergoing flight testing. Its first flight to space above 50 miles altitude, VSS Unity PF04, took place on December 13, 2018. Design overview The Spaceship 2 project is based in part on technology developed for the first-generation SpaceshipOne, which was part of the Scaled Composites Tier 1 program, funded by Paul Allen. The Spaceship Company licenses this technology from Mojave Aerospace Ventures, a joint venture of Paul Allen and Bert Rutten, the designer of the predecessor technology. Spaceship 2 is a low-aspect ratio passenger spaceplane. Its capacity will be eight people, six passengers and two pilots. The apogee of the new craft will be approximately 110 kilometers 68 miles in the lower thermosphere, 10 kilometers 6.2 miles higher than the Kármán line which was Spaceshipone's target, although the last flight of Spaceshipone reached a one-time altitude of 112 kilometers 70 miles. Spaceship 2 will reach 4,200 km per hour, 2,600 miles per hour using a single hybrid rocket engine, the rocket motor 2. It launches from its mother ship, White Knight 2, at an altitude of 15,000 meters, 50,000 feet, and reaches supersonic speed within 8 seconds. After 70 seconds, the rocket engine cuts out and the spacecraft will coast to its peak altitude. Spaceship 2's crew cabin is 3.7 meters, 12 feet long and 2.3 meters, 7.5 feet in diameter. The wingspan is 8.2 meters, 27 feet. The length is 18 meters, 60 feet and the tail height is 4.6 meters, 15 feet. Spaceship 2 uses a feathered reentry system, feasible due to the low speed of reentry. In contrast, orbital spacecraft re-enter at orbital speeds, closer to 25,000 km per hour 16,000 miles per hour, using heat shields. Spaceship 2 is furthermore designed to re-enter the atmosphere at any angle. It will decelerate through the atmosphere, switching to a gliding position at an altitude of 24 km 15 miles, and will take 25 minutes to glide back to the spaceport. Spaceship 2 and White Knight 2 are, respectively, roughly twice the size of the first-generation SpaceshipOne and Mothership White Knight, which won the Ansari X Prize in 2004. Spaceship 2 has 43 and 33 centimeters 17 and 13 in diameter windows for the passengers viewing pleasure, and all seats will recline back during landing to decrease the discomfort of G-forces. Reportedly, the craft can land safely even if a catastrophic failure occurs during flight. In 2008, Bert Rutten remarked on the safety of the vehicle. This vehicle is designed to go into the atmosphere in the worst case straight in or upside down and it'll correct. This is designed to be at least as safe as the early airliners in the 1920s. Don't believe anyone that tells you that the safety will be the same as a modern airliner, which has been around for 70 years. In September 2011, the safety of Spaceship 2's feathered re-entry system was tested when the crew briefly lost control of the craft during a gliding test flight. 
Control was re-established after the spaceplane entered its feathered configuration, and it landed safely after a seven-minute flight. <laughs> Fleet and launch sites Fleet history Spaceship 2 and the White Knight 2 launcher aircraft are built by the Spaceship Company, originally formed as a joint venture between Scaled Composites and Virgin Galactic. Virgin Galactic bought out Scaled Composites' interest in TSC in 2012, and TSC is now a wholly owned subsidiary of Virgin Galactic. The launch customer of Spaceship 2 is Virgin Galactic, who have ordered five vehicles. The first SS-2 was named VSS Enterprise. The VSS prefix stands for Virgin Space Ship. As of November 2014, only VSS Enterprise has been flown. It was destroyed in a crash on 31 October 2014. The build of VSS Unity is about 65% complete as of early November 2014, and Virgin Galactic expected it to be complete in 2015. It was unveiled in February 2016. The third Spaceship 2 is expected to commence construction by the end of 2015. Topic: Launch sites. Spaceship 2 is launched from the White Knight 2 launcher aircraft, which takes off from the Mojave Air and Space Port in California during testing. Spaceport America, formerly Southwest Regional Spaceport, a $212 million spaceport in New Mexico, partly funded by the state government, will become the permanent launch site when commercial launches begin. Topic: <laughs> Ships in class. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Development. On 28 September 2006, Virgin Group founder Sir Richard Branson unveiled a mock-up of the Spaceship 2 passenger cabin at the NextFest exposition at the Jacob K. Javits Convention Center in New York. The design of the vehicle was revealed to the press in January 2008, with the statement that the vehicle itself was around 60% complete. On 7 December 2009, the official unveiling and rollout of Spaceship 2 took place. The event involved the first Spaceship 2 being christened by then Governor of California Arnold Schwarzenegger as the VSS Enterprise. Topic: 2007 test explosion. On the 26th of July 2007, an explosion occurred during an oxidizer flow test at the Mojave Air and Space Port, where early stage tests were being conducted on Spaceship 2 systems. The oxidizer test included filling the oxidizer tank with 4,500 kg 10, pounds of nitrous oxide, followed by a 15-second cold flow injector test. Although the tests did not ignite the gas, three employees were killed and three injured by flying shrapnel. <laughs> <laughs> Rocket engine The hybrid rocket engine design for Spaceship 2 has been problematic and caused extensive delays to the flight test program. The original rocket engine design was based on hydroxyl terminated polybutadiene (HTPB) fuel and nitrous oxide oxidizer, sometimes referred to as an N2O HTPB engine. It was developed by Scaled Composite Subcontractor Sierra Nevada Corporation (SNC) from 2009 to early 2014. In May 2014, Virgin Galactic announced a change to the hybrid engine to be used in Spaceship 2, and took the development effort in-house to Virgin Galactic, terminating the contract with Sierra Nevada and halting all development work on the first-generation rocket engine. Virgin then modified the engine design to include a change of the hybrid rocket fuel from a HTPB to a polyamide fuel formulation. In October 2015, Virgin announced that it was considering changing back to the original HTPB fuel. Topic: 2014 change of engine. In May 2014, Virgin Galactic took over engine development from Sierra Nevada and announced a change to the fuel to be used in the Spaceship 2 hybrid rocket engine. 
rather than the rubber-based HTPB fuel engine, engines that had experienced serious engine stability issues on firings longer than approximately 20 seconds, the engine would now be based on a solid fuel composed of a type of plastic called thermoplastic polyamide. The plastic fuel was projected to have better performance by several unspecified measures and was projected to allow Spaceship 2 to make flights to a higher altitude, as of May 2014 when the version 2 engine by Virgin Galactic was publicly announced. The engine had already completed full duration burns of over 60 seconds in ground tests on an engine test stand. The second generation engine design also required the modification to the SS2 airframe to fit additional tanks in the wings of Spaceship 2 one holding methane and the other containing helium, in order to ensure a proper burn and shutdown of the new engine. Additional ground tests were performed of the new engine between May and October 2014. 2015, another fuel change Following a series of rocket engine tests, Virgin announced in October 2015 that they would be changing the rocket motor back to hydroxyl terminated polybutadiene (HTPB) with a similar formulation as they used earlier in the development program before switching to a nylon-based fuel grain. They will use HTPB to power the spaceship to when it resumes flight following the loss of the initial SS2 test vehicle in October 2014. Full qualification tests remain to be completed. Topic. Rocket Motor 2 The second generation Rocket Motor 2 engine is a variant of the earlier SNC basic design, but is fueled by polyamide plastic fuel, while continuing to use the same nitrous oxide oxidizer. The second generation engine is now made in house by Virgin Galactic rather than by SNC. By December 2012, 15 full-scale tests had been successfully conducted, and additional ground tests continued into March 2013. In June 2012, the Federal Aviation Administration FAA issued a rocket testing permit to scaled composites, allowing it to begin SS2 test flights powered by Rocket Motor 2. The first such powered flight took place on the 29th of April 2013. The engine produces 60,000 pounds force, 270 kilonewtons of thrust. Topic: <laughs> Test flights. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Testing VSS Enterprise. In September 2012, Virgin Galactic announced that the unpowered subsonic glide flight test program was essentially complete. In October 2012, Scaled Composites installed key components of the rocket engine, and Spaceship 2 performed its first glide flight with the engine installed in December 2012. The spacecraft's first powered test flight took place on the 29th of April 2013. Spaceship 2 reached supersonic speeds in this first powered flight. On 5 September 2013, the second powered flight was made by Spaceship 2. The first powered test flight of 2014, and third overall, occurred 10 January 2014. The spacecraft reached an altitude of 22,000 meters, 71,000 feet, the highest to date, and a speed of Mach 1.4, kilometers per hour, 926.8 miles per hour. The White Knight 2 carrier aircraft released Spaceship 2 VSS Enterprise at an altitude of 14,000 meters, 46,000 feet. Topic: <laughs> October 2014 crash. On the 31st of October 2014, Spaceship 2 VSS Enterprise suffered an in-flight breakup during a powered flight test, resulting in a crash killing one pilot and injuring the other. It was coincidentally the first flight to use the new type of fuel, based on nylon plastic grains. The crash is believed to have involved a premature deployment of the feathering mechanism, which is normally used to aid in a safe descent. Spaceship 2 was still in powered ascent when the feathering mechanism deployed. Disintegration was observed two seconds later. As of October 2014, Spaceship 2 had conducted 54 test flights. The spacecraft had used its feathered Wing configuration during 10 of these test flights, the National Transportation Safety Board conducted an independent investigation into the accident. 
In July 2015, the NTSB released a report which cited inadequate design safeguards, poor pilot training, lack of rigorous federal oversight and a potentially anxious copilot without recent flight experience as important factors in the 2014 crash. While the copilot was faulted for prematurely deploying the ship's feathering mechanism, the ship's designers were also faulted for not creating a fail-safe system that could have guarded against such premature deployment. VSS Unity In October 2015, it was reported that the second Spaceship 2 would make its first flight in 2016. VSS Unity was unveiled in February 2016. A phase of testing called Integrated Vehicle Ground Testing began on VSS Unity in February 2016. Between the 8th of September and the 30th of November 2016, Virgin Galactic conducted a series of captive carry flights of Unity, including planned glide flights 1 and the 3rd of November, for which the glide portion of the flight was canceled because of wind speed. Glide flights of Unity began on the 3rd of December 2016. After several glide flights over the preceding months, in July 2017, Richard Branson suggested that the craft was to begin powered tests at 3 week intervals. In September 2017, CEO George Whiteside suggested that engine testing was complete and that only a small number of glide flights remained before VSS Unity would begin powered tests flights. In October 2017, Branson suggested that Spaceship 2 could reach space within three months, and that he could travel to space aboard a Spaceship 2 within six months. A seventh high-speed glide test was completed in January 2018. On 13 December 2018, Spaceship 2 VSS Unity reached its highest altitude of 82.72 km .4 miles. This surpassed the U.S. government definition of space at 80 km 50 miles, but not the standard used elsewhere at 100 km 62.1 miles. Despite the debate on where outer space begins, Mark Stuckey would receive his astronaut wings, while Frederick W. Stersko would not as he has already flown on the space shuttle four times. Topic. Costs Spaceship 2's total development costs were estimated at around $400 million in May 2011, a significant increase over the 2007 estimate of $108 million. Topic. Commercial operation The duration of the flights will be approximately 2.5 hours, though only a few minutes of that will be in space. The price will initially be $200,000. More than 65,000 would-be space tourists applied for the first batch of 100 tickets. By December 2007, Virgin Galactic had 200 paid-up customers on its books for the early flights, and 95% were passing the 6-8 grams centrifuge tests. By the start of 2011, that number had increased to over 400 paid customers, and to 575 by early 2013. In April 2013, Virgin Galactic announced that the price for a seat would increase 25% to $250,000 before the middle of May 2013, and would remain at $250,000, until the first 1,000 people have traveled, so that it matches up with inflation since Virgin Galactic started. Following 50 to 100 test flights, the first paying customers were expected to fly aboard the craft in 2014. Refining the projected schedule in late 2009, Virgin Galactic declined to announce a firm timetable for commercial flights, but did reiterate that initial flights would take place from Spaceport America. Operational rollout will be based on a safety-driven schedule. In addition to making suborbital passenger launches, Virgin Galactic will market Spaceship 2 for suborbital space science missions. Topic: <laughs> NASA SRLV program. By March 2011, Virgin Galactic had submitted Spaceship 2 as a reusable launch vehicle for carrying research payloads in response to NASA's Suborbital Reusable Launch Vehicle SRLV solicitation, which is a part of the agency's Flight Opportunities Program. Virgin Project's research flights with a peak altitude of 110 kilometers 68 miles. These flights will provide approximately 4 minutes of microgravity for research payloads. 
Payload mass and microgravity levels have not yet been specified. The NASA research flights could begin during the test flight certification program for SpaceShip 2. Topic: <laughs> Future spacecraft. In August 2005, the president of Virgin Galactic stated that if the suborbital service with SpaceShip 2 is successful, the follow-up SpaceShip 3 would be an orbital craft. In 2008, Virgin Galactic suggested that it may develop a high-speed passenger vehicle to offer transport through point-to-point -point suborbital spaceflight. Topic: <laughs> Specifications. Sources: General characteristics. Crew: 2. Capacity: 6 passengers. Length 18.3 meters, 60 feet. Wingspan 8.3 meters, 27 feet. Height 5.5 meters, 18 feet. Rudders down. Loaded weight 9,740 kilograms, 21,428 pounds. Power plant one times rocket motor to liquid solid hybrid rocket engine performance. Maximum speed 4,000 kilometers per hour, 2,500 miles per hour. Service ceiling, 110 km VSS Enterprise, above CA. 80, 5 km VSS Unity 361,000 feet VSS Enterprise, above 264,000 feet VSS Unity See also <laughs>